Hi hey guys, uh, I hope you all are fine. Uh, today I come up very uh, another video which is the related to the most of the related to the in terms of security in Kubernetes. So this is really important for us because nowadays the security is very important in terms of any uh, anything. So we, for using on this security, we use uh, one of the kind in the Kubernetes that is called secret. Secret we use uh, in Kubernetes in, to, in order to secure our things. Let's suppose you have an application and then application need some, you have some application, you need some input variables are required uh, to, to launch this, uh, to launch this port. Miss port or application or server you can like that say anything anything so you need some variable kind to give input this application and then then application accept this variable and then it will be launch your uh, application so for for for, for this uh, we can means assume that let's suppose we have a mysql because mysql is very important and database in, in in Linux world, so mostly company, mostly company, companies are using it for their uh, application for testing and another uh, very low level end. So, in in so when you are um, in terms of when you are launching this app, this port, so they need means who made this uh, MySQL image. So let's suppose it's made by Ali. So Ali said, when you want to launch this MySQL port, I have some need information before launching this port. Means you need to set the root password. You need a user. You need a user password. So multiple things are needed. These, the other are optional, but I think for me, it's very important to set the root password. Okay, so it's important for me to set the use root password because if I know the root password of MySQL, so I can launch anything, I can create anything, database, delete, update, all the things done or create any, another user, create another database. So for root password is necessary for me. So in terms of means uh, in Docker to giving something runtime on to launching the container, they called entry point. Or in Kubernetes, they are called environmental variable. Tell variable. So in we are working on Kubernetes, so you need a environmental variable to launch the to launch the MySQL. So first of all, uh, let's see how we launch a, a MySQL port in Kubernetes. Then we will talk about the security and other aspect. Expect, expect. So let's move on to the uh, our. Uh, so this is my Kubernetes cluster right now. It ports. There is no running on the ports. So I have created a one deploy uh, port file, which is my uh, simple uh, MySQL file who's launching my port. So let me show you this one. So before that, I think I should uh, change some setting to in order to increase the font appearance change in order to see you more clear. So this is my file actually. So I am launching a API version. I am launching a port. The port name or metadata is my DB. The specification of the my container is my container name is the MyDB and the image which I am launching is MySQL. So I talk about the environmental variables. So environmental variables are in some in terms of some entry point need to be executed to launching the port. It's not necessary, but sometimes it's not it's necessary who made this image actually. So for uh, so you need some 
given some uh, variables to the to launching this port say and then you have some value keep here in order to set the mysql root password so i have given the value and the value of my mysql root password is abc123 so let's launching this one so i am just launching kubectl create minus f port simple mysql so it's created let's see it's uh, up and running or not so it's running now let's move into the describe this port so i just hit it enter uh, and by default it's taking first one so before means i am just telling you about the environmental variable and my sql password so for this one um, you have seen means if you given an access to your any kubernetes uh, body so like, let's suppose you have given the access of your kubernetes cluster and let, let's suppose he is an admin of your web development and you have given to the access of kubernetes okay so when he launch or when he see then kubectl get ports so he he can see or he she can see that the port is running with the name of the port is mydb but when he describe this port in order to means check all the things more related to this port so he can see the environmental variable and environmental variable has some value and there is a value we have put the password of my of my database why how because means when he types the describe command so he can see the environmental variable are there there is one environmental variable which is the my root password it's mean he can or she can go on my this container and on go on and uh, and uh, chain my db or go into the my my sql database so let's see uh, let me show you how can we how can we go inside the port execute so first of all let me get the name execute execute my db minus it minus minus bash so right, right now i am in the mysql db port so let type the mysql it's not going because it need the root password so before that you are hacker or someone else who means want to crack your uh, password or your so who, who want to crash your application so he he also know about the root password from your environmental variable right now means he can see so let me show you how can we go into the mysql minus u root minus p so i am typing a b c 1 2 3 so now i am in the uh, uh, your database so i can see all the databases are running and i can delete or update or something any any anything i want to change i can change it so this is not a right approach actually so what is the right thing we need something uh, uh, to hide our password okay so means uh, whenever someone ha i have given someone to describe my ports but he cannot see my password what is this for this one we have introduced a one kind that is called a secret that is called a secret secret service we we are using we have put all the things our all the all the necessary information put in this box so first of all we have to create this box and then we reference this box into our port means when mysql need a environmental variable which is my root password so i have reference here i will give the reference value reference means value of the reference to go on to the this box and get my password here means to get the password here so in terms of giving input all the things on the yaml file we will put all the credential or all the things are in the secret box so this is called 
secret box or your information box you are or something like that so in in enable we if you know someone so it can vault so same as it is uh, we have in a vault in uh, in terms of secret in the kubernetes so first of all we create this service actually its name is a service so or service or you can say as a kind in kubernetes to to hide your information to outside the people or if someone has your manager so we, your web developer write the code and or in any ml file or give it to the manager a manager put this box names or all these things into the uh, ml file and then it will ml file will be run on the kubernetes so this is the one so let's see how can we how can we create this secret box so uh, i have already once uh, i have made a file of this one so let's see what is this one so right now uh, we have created a uh, api version it's a kind of secret metadata name of that data or name of the secret is my sql pass and the data is password means value and the uh, in the password let's suppose let's see my password is abc123 so so let's see is there any any uh, cube ctl get secret so right now we have one as well so let me delete this one so we can create delete secret on my pass so i will create another one so get secret there is no secret right now so let's create the secret so cube ctl create oh minus f so oh, secret so there is a uh, error come up so why it's error come up yeah this do the main information means uh, the error is when creating the mysql and cannot be handled the secret base 64 kid input okay so this is the error which is related to the means a uh, uh, secret kind it says that you have you have, you didn't encoded your password so you have to first encode your password your value is i have means password and the password which you have given in your secret file which is not encrypted or not in in terms of in not encrypted not encoded so there is main difference in the encryption or encoding encryption has some need to be decrypt your key and value some uh, key pairs or lock something that is the encryption and encoded in something hide your information with someone else okay so encoded can be decode easily so by default uh, uh, by default uh, the uh, by default the encryption encoded in using uh, encoded are using in kubernetes so they are base 64 algorithm they are using base base 64 so let's encode first our value our password so there is multiple online tools available in the google so you can just encode base 64 so i just click on this one and then i type a b c 1 2 3 okay okay so just click on that one so it will create a encoded one so just copy it and put it in your in this box so you have created this one now file have been so now it's done the secret have been created let's see again so there is any other error or not so there is no error come up or there is one secret another secret have been box have been created which is the name of mysql now we have to attach our secret box to our mysql yaml file so i have created means another one means let me show you get ports there is ports running so let me delete it first so 
so uh, after that i will means it is launched without uh, any 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 uh, any means encrypted our password environmental variables are not encrypted in it so this is a security breach in it so a loophole so before that let me show you about again a uh, secret so let's suppose someone is describe our secret so can 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 he can decode it no although there is a value is showing that this is a password but there is no password there is six bytes is showing on it but i will show you the password as well after some time so he if anyone knows someone good commands or good thing on it so he can break or check your password so i have created another um, port mysql so let me show you this one file so this is my same as it is but just environmental variable name is the mysql i have given the value before that i have created the value is equal to my password but now i said you have to value from my secret key reference my secret key reference is my box so you have to go on this box and get the key and the key name is password so it's like means uh let me uh, just show you again so it's like that one uh, we have uh, we have a box which is name mysql okay now the before that you have i have given that the password a value is the password and the password name is password was abc123 so before that uh, before this creation of secret or this all the things now the value is from getting my let's suppose it's my box which is name of my box is my sql pass which we have created and the uh, and then now the value will be you will go on to the uh, reference key the secret reference key it's come here and there is lots of secrets boxes over there and there is multiple secrets over there so how can you recognize that this uh, i need to go on particular this box so in the secret reference you have to type the name so i have typed the name of my secret board box so in it first it comes on <clears throat> value then in go to the all the check the secret then he finds which is the name or which is related to me so you can got the name of this one so let's suppose this is the uh, my my secret box now you can go and find the key value key and the key is the password but you know the password is what is this the password the only admin or who adjust who uh, means uh, uh, assign the password that is the only one who can uh, know the password of your key so this is my password means we can write anything on the uh, in terms of password so that that is that is this is not actual password we know that we have encoded that that one in the box so keep in mind that so let's now create port <clears throat> so now my sql password to oh my uh, box have been created my uh, port have been created let's see if port have still show any password or not so there is uh, let's see there is image my name uh, db container name and then we have started now we have the environmental variable we want the set value key password is the password so now we if someone has the uh, Uh, um, if someone has the control to check the describe of of, of all the ports, 
so he cannot see what is the password of my root db or root password of my db it's a just example you can put anything in your secret box in, in it's related to your image actually if you have an application which is very sensitive and you need uh, means a some variable need to be very secrets one so you can put the in secret password so this is how uh, we can uh, go into the uh, 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 secure your password of your anything in kubernetes so let's move into the uh, let's see uh, into the um, we can go or check my sql minus it minus minus slash so i come up in my in my port so let's uh, let's move into the port so let's see it's not going on because we have set the password i am just again root minus p so again i am just putting that password which i have put in my encoding before encoding so it it is it goes uh, means on to the secret box secret box will in decode that one and then it will be come up again and you will can log in successfully your secret box so this is uh, the how we can uh, secure your things in this uh, with the help of secrets so before uh, means uh, yeah so last one uh, if someone has actually described describe secret secret and the secret name is mysql pass so now right now there is no no one can see your password but if someone has some because it's uh, it's like that one mm, let me just little bit overview let's suppose you have a admin admin or you have other rights of your kubernetes cluster this is let's suppose our kubernetes cluster you have kubectl command in order to interact your kubernetes cluster right so whatever we have write in with the help of kubernetes let's suppose we have write kubectl run web or minus minus image httpd okay so what happen first of all kubectl grab this one part because our cluster doesn't know about the commands he does just only know a code which is in terms of yml format or json so right now we are giving a command line in our cube api server handle all the things he don't know the command he just know about the yml file or any json file so first the cube ctl will convert all the things into the yml or code file and hand it over to the cube api so cube api once it's received it will convert all the things and required all the resources and on and deploy on the cluster so hence we know means uh, means all the things are in terms of yaml or json so uh, if someone has means <coughs> if someone has means uh, all the rights and need to be uh, check the password of your uh, database or uh, in, in in terms of uh, he has means uh, kubectl describe of uh, secrets but uh, or your deployment so so he can check uh, commands all the things with the help of minus o with yaml so i'm sorry mm -hmm. yes uh, um, yes uh, i think i did some describe secrets my secret or yaml mm -hmm. describe secret 
Well, let let me. I think I did some. Mm, I think. Uh, let me. I think. Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, this is uh, not uh, describe one. This you mean to get it? I think. Yeah. Uh, this is you know. Uh, so I was mistaken that describe, but that is uh, not that one. It's a get secret and my SQL pass your name of that one and my O file means minus output of your in yaml file so here you can see the password and that is a value if someone has these rights to check your yaml files he can get your password as well so once he know this one so he can go onto the internet and google it uh, just uh, decode base 64 and just i think it will be uh, sorry, someone has any other online? Yep, decode one so you can just code and decode it so he can know the password as well. So, this is the means uh, uh, one of the trick to get the password of your uh, secrets one. So, uh, I think uh, it's enough for me right now. So, I will come up again this uh, another video which is a very important one and we will talk about uh, a lot them so thank you so much guys for watching this video and if you have any confusion and any uh, any uh, any problem comes in during creating any secret so please let me know so i will help try my help i will try my best to help you so just secret is something you know hide the information in the kubernetes you don't need to be share anything to anyone so then the use case comes up many use case comes up to uh, to give the secrets so thank you guys for watching this video thanks bye